Hello there. My name is Silvia Luraghi, and I am professor of general and historical linguistics at the University of Pavia. Hello there. My name is Guglielmo Inglese, and I am a postdoctoral researcher at the Catholic University of Leuven. Hittite belongs to the Anatolian branch of the Indo-European family. As we will see, this was possibly the first branch to split off from the rest of the Indo-European languages, and this shows in several grammatical peculiarities of Anatolian as compared to the rest of core Indo-European. For example, the lack of the perfect or of the feminine gender. The sound spelled with H and double H, these two signs here, are often referred to as laryngeals, since these sounds in Hittite represent the outcome of the Proto-Indo-European laryngeals 2 and 3. In Hittite, these sounds might have been realized as a uvular fricative, either Fortis or Lenis, here. This sound is very important for the history of Indo-European studies, as the discovery of this sound confirmed Saussure's theory about the existence of so-called laryngeals in Proto-Indo-European. In Hittite grammar, there is a basic distinction of verbs into two inflectional classes, which are distinct only in the active voice. They are called me and he verbs, based on the form of the first person singular present, and they are characterized by the use of two partly distinct sets of endings. In the course of the history of Hittite, it is clear that the me inflection is more productive and many he verbs start being transferred to the me class. The origin of the he inflection remains today one of the most fascinating and debated topic of Hittite historical linguistics. Hittite has a gender-based split alignment system. Common gender nouns follow a nominative accusative pattern, whereas neuter nouns follow a negative pattern. Hittite is a partial dual subject language. This means that subjects are not always obligatorily expressed. This is especially true for the first and second person. With the third person, the picture is more complex, as we find the distribution based on the type of verb. No subjects are allowed with transitive verbs and some intransitive verbs. But for some other intransitive verbs, in case that the subject is not overtly expressed by a noun or by an accented pronoun, a special critic subject is required, even though we have a third person ending on the verb. These verbs are commonly defined as unaccusative. Thank you for your attention.